Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Certification Training with me Anubhav at anubhavtrainings.com. In this live demo session, we are going to look at the definition of SAP Analytics Cloud with an overview of how can you build dashboards and analytic applications using SAP Analytics Cloud on a live data most of you would have attended my demo sessions in the past. So the fir first time we are now covering here a demo with the live data. Of course, in the detailed training, we are going to le learn all the concepts of analytics cloud, including BI, planning, predictive and designer with the live data connections with S4, BW and HANA cloud. But in today's demo session, I will show you a short use case of live HANA data consumed in SAC story. So let's get started. So first we'll understand who is this course for, who can attend this training. So if you are one of these developer personas or consultants, then you, this is the training for you. So if you are Emma Carter, she's a BW consultant and want to build and integrate her Bex queries with BI, then this course is for you. If you work like Steve Joe, who's a Bob J consultant and now seeing a shift in industry from business object to SAP analytics cloud. So he wanted to train himself on the next technology. If you are Andrew James, who is an ABAP consultant, who is a technical consultant and interested to learn and build analytic applications, this is also going to help you. Finally, if you are Sophia Stark, who is just a fresher out of college, wants to step into analytics field and machine learning field with SAP, this course is going to help you also. What is that we're going to cover in this next 40 hour training? So our goal of this training is to learn analytics cloud end to end, which includes first phase as fundamentals, including the BI. We will understand the basics of what is HANA, S4 HANA, BI, BW systems, how do they interact? How was the analytics in the past and how's the trend is changing? We'll learn the core concepts of analytic cloud, including building BI stories and models. In the phase two of this training, we will look at planning, mainly those who come from BPC background and also financials background. This, this session is gonna be very helpful. Even if you are not from BPC or planning background, don't worry, we will include planning jargons as part of this training. Also, we will cover real-time collaborative planning scenarios with value driver trees. In the phase three, I will start with predictive analytics. That's a new trend in industry. It's not just about finding what happened in the past, but also predicting the future. And that's where SAP Analytics Cloud Machine Learning comes into picture with smart predict and smart assist features. We will learn all the different types of machine learning scenarios like classification, regression, and time series. We'll also try to understand basics of machine learning. What is AUC curve, ROC curve, confusion matrices, regression, all the different formulas which SAC computes and present at front of us. And last not the least, designer, which is the main chunk of this training where we will learn how to design analytic application with scripting and advanced scripting and formulas, along with live data connections to consume HANA calculation views, consuming CDS views, and also live data connections to perform closed loop scenario to trigger an O data service as well. All of that we are going to cover in next 40 hours equal proportion to each of the phases of this course. So what do we see today in the demo session? What is our agenda for today? So today in the first step, we will look at quick introduction, the definition of analytics cloud and essence of learning SAC. In the step two, we will create a live data model and on top of live data from SAP HANA. So I have already built a HANA application, which has some live data from Amazon, cell, phones, uh, cell phone sales data from Amazon. And this data I will project in SSE, which is coming live from SAP HANA. 
Then we will look at how to build a story, a dashboard on top of this live data model. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the introduction of SAP Analytics Cloud. So what exactly SAP Analytics Cloud is and what are all the benefits of SAP Analytics Cloud? So coming to the definition, SAP Analytics Cloud is a software as a service offering by SAP for complete BI planning, predictive and designer capabilities. SAP Analytics Cloud enables intelligent enterprises, providing everyone an insight to make confident decisions and take actions in the moment. It is complete, contextual, confident and turns your insights to action. So in terms of completion, it has all the features of both BI planning and also designer. You don't have to invest in multiple products and services. You get all of these things at under one single hood. It is contextual, which helps you to take confident decisions on your business data with enterprise ready insights. It is confident to take a smarter decision which are powered by AI and machine learning. Naturally, without learning too much technicality in coding, you'll be able to apply machine learning on your scenarios. It turns your insights to action through closed loop scenario with OData service integration to push data back to SAP systems. Why SAP Analytics Cloud? Why should you as a consultant target to learn SAC? So you must be following already different solutions in your company for BI planning. Now these solutions are either going to be deprecated or they are going to plan a move in the near or the long term to Analytics Cloud. And that's the essence of learning SSE as a SAP consultant. So for data discovery, today your company is using Bobj Analysis, ROMB, Bobj Discovery for data. All of that will permanently move to Analytics Cloud. For dashboard and application design, today your company is either using Pax Web App, Bobj Dashboard Solution, or Designer Studio. Also in this space, maybe you're using Lumira Designer. The Lumira designer is going to get deprecated by 2024 and that's when you will start moving yourself to SAC. For planning, you are using SAP BPC for on-premise planning and consolidation. If your company plans to move to cloud, then SAC is the solution of choice for planning scenarios. Coming to reporting for desktop intelligence and Bob J set analytics, you would want also reporting to be done using Analytics Cloud, both with acquired and the live data. Now, coming to the scenario for today. So we have got an amazing scenario from Amazon directly. So what we have got today is, I'm sure at some point of time, you would have done some shopping online and Amazon is maybe your choice of shopping for smartphones. So here we have the Amazon smartphone sales and reviews data. This data is stored in a HANA database. I'm going to fetch this data live from SAP HANA and then consume it in Analytics Cloud to de deliver a dashboard which shows some KPIs, charts, and also report together in a single page. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So just a quick overview of how the structure of our content is. So right now, what I have already done before this session to keep it keep it simple for you, already created a SAP HANA instance in SAP Business Technology Platform, which is basically a HANA Cloud instance. And on this HANA Cloud instance, I have a database table for cellular data, which stores all the Amazon reviews of cell phones. On top of it, I have created a calculation view in HANA, and then I have published this application as a container into SAP Cloud. After that, I have also built a connector, which is so-called HANA adapter for Analytics Cloud, SAP HANA Analytics adapter. And this is what is exposing a secure URL to connect to my Analytics Cloud system. 
then in my analytics cloud system i have created a connection to the sap hana cloud system and this connection is ready so this part we are not going to focus today we will do this in our detailed lectures in the future this part what you see and typically this part also as a sec consultant you're not responsible this will be done by your sap hana consultant however in this training once we go more in detail i'm going to show you end to end these scenarios but our main goal and focus for this demo session will be to just build a uh, dashboard and a model here in SSC. so first step is we will build a model models are the foundation for your stories and dashboard in SSC. and then we will create a dashboard a story which is what we call story and this story will then use the data from this model this model is using this live data connection to fetch data live from underlying hana system so let's go to the system and first show you the sap hana cloud instance so if i go back to my sap business technology platform trial account you would see that i'm already running a sap hana system into the cloud all of this i'm going to explain more in detail in our upcoming lectures so that you will also be able to practice all these things directly into sap business technology platform without any extra cost so let's go here and you can see i have already created a sap hana box and this hana box uh, i have built a application also on on top of this hana box which is a native hana application where i have a database table indeed and uh, this database table also along with a calculation view so you can see i have a database table a demo data csv file and a calculation view cv cell so let me go to uh, my hdi container by clicking on this container button next to my hana application which i've already built and you can see it launches my sap hana data explorer over here once the sap hana data explorer opens up this is where you will be able to browse all your database artifacts like tables and calculation views and everything so that is what you can see it here which i've already created before the demo hana database explorer is the latest cutting edge tool to um, to browse all your database runtime content which you have created in the past so once i get into it you would find that i've already created a container and this container has a database table and this is my cell data table which i can just open and show you this is my demo data for our demo scenario today let's open the data and you can see we have information about amazon reviews on cell phones so we have product id we have brand then we have the title of the product we have the url of the product images rating indicator then we have review url total reviews price original price and average rating of these products nice so we have all this information on top of it i've created a cube view a calculation view in my hana project and this is my calculation view which is ready to expose the data out so basically this is a data model which exposes my hana data out so we will be using this i will show you in my next lecture how did i set up all this everything from scratch but just for the demo purpose i'm just showing you a scenario in an easy way to understand uh, directly so now let's go back and we switch over back to analytics cloud and here i've already created a connection to my sap hana data source so you can see I have a lot of different connections some are live some are acquired so here we have this hana direct connection which is using live data as the next step what i'm going to do is go back and click on creating a new model so we create a new model and here i will get data from data source and i will choose my live data source as sap hana and now i will choose my connection hana live and it will show me in value help to choose my data source so if you remember we had a data source called cv cell this was a calculation view i have built and deployed on my container i can come back and do an f4 and i can find that here i select click on ok remember this is a live data connection so all the data comes live from sap hana cloud 
to analytics cloud i just save this model and we can give some name while saving so i go to my sec batch folder models and i'm going to save it here as lie hana or let's say amazon smartphones data model click on okay and now my data model is getting saved wow you can see there is no data which is visible you can only see the dimensions your and your measures yes let's go ahead and now create a dashboard and a story so we switch over back to create a new dashboard or a story in analytics cloud i choose that and now i would create a new responsive page responsive page is a page which is good for mobile device it works automatically good nicely for a tablet and mobile device let me remove the title sections and the very first thing is i wanted to add a couple of kpis here so let's add kpis so i click on my chart and i will choose my data model first of all from my models tab and now we will start adding certain kpis so first is i will add a numeric point to count how many number of cell phones amazon is currently selling how many different uh, products they have it on their website so i click on add measure and i would just say create a new calculation to just count here the number of products which are currently being sold on amazon guys please remember this is a demo session maybe you are not able to understand anything out of this but this is just for an overview of how it things works in our next session i will start from very scratch even a fresher can learn analytics cloud with our training so let's put here count we are just counting the number of products and now you will see that there are 721 different products which are being sold you can change the title and as a next step you can just make a copy and paste again and i would add three kpis similar to that my next kpi is to calculate the price average price so if i just simply go and choose here the price then i'm going to get a very big number but i want to calculate average price so just go to measure add another calculated measure this time we're going to do calculation put here the price divide by count and this is going to tell me the average price for cell phones yes average price and now i wanted to also print here the total number of reviews which has been posted by people on amazon for the smartphone so let's add a measure and i will choose here reviews it's a pretty big number so we wanted to format a little bit we can go to the styling panel and just come down to choose thousand and representation as key wow that's pretty cool we wanted to display up to two decimal points nice so as you can see there is no coding involved to build such a beautiful dashboard in seconds okay now it's time to fill this section where first of all we want to add a chart and showcase the total number of reviews per uh, per brand so let's add a bar chart and i can just choose my measure as reviews and i can choose my dimension as brand name so how many reviews are there per brand so you can see there are highest number of reviews for samsung brand the next highest is motorola and then we have xiaomi and apple so these are all the top brands we have the reviews we can also sort them in descending order by review highest to lowest yes and the next is what i want is to show the market capitalization or market uh, size of each brand so that we can easily find out by number of cell phones they have in the market and let's add a donut chart out there to calculate the same so add a donut chart and i'm just going to count the total number per brand so how many sales per brand we have 
so you can see the dominance of the cell phone market is already by samsung 48.26 percent of cell phones which are sold on amazon are samsung i can just also say rank my top five only i want to just write down top five brands and if you are little uh, little ambitious you can also go and change the color palettes of your choice something little more lighter you can add it nice as a next step we wanted to add a reporting feature so that's where we add a table control and now i can just expand my table and let's add fields so i would first choose product id then i'll say brand and then i can choose also the measures so in the measures i wanted to put number of rating average reviews total reviews what is the price of the product and what's the okay yeah that's all i want let's add that and now you can see a beautiful reporting table you can also interchange the order yes and you can see now it is doing a automatic grouping for you nice further if you want to filter you can add filter and suppose i am only interested in certain brands like apple google motorola samsung oneplus and xiaomi click on ok we can add extra bit of filters here okay anyway let's get rid of filter and let me just save my story just save the story on my system so next time i'll be able to read so amazon smartphones dashboard wow now don't you think it needs a little bit more formatting yes even i feel so so let's try and add a little bit of formatting to our dashboard i'm going to switch over back to our story preferences so that we can centrally change the look and feel of entire dashboard i wanted to also um, add a logo from amazon so let's bring it down a little bit this content and we will add an image control so i'm going to add an image control and let's add image and i'll switch over to my images get an amazon image and include that let's move it up yes on the top makes sense and now it's time to change the color so let's go back and add preferences and we can change the background color for my responsive page perhaps i will go with little dark black and for my right side area lean background also dark black and let's come down to change most of the color for the chart controls let's say for chart i want everything to be in the white color then for my borders and tables so you see table text color again go with little greener lighter green so let me choose a lighter green color for the table text i can also control the styling palettes report styling maybe and then i can choose my text colors all my text colors should be white then all my input controls if i have input control which can be used for centralized filtering and then we can also change the font color for other colors to also white i will apply this change centrally on all my pages and lanes and click on ok gives me a small warning to overwrite all the styles i say fine i'm good and voila you can see it has changed my dashboard coloring nicely to a different color i can also go back and override this with the styling panel on the right side so i can choose here maybe a different color altogether of my choice for my charts and my palettes let's do that i can just change it a little bit yeah okay so that's our dashboard you see how beautiful our dashboard looks like for the end user and then you can also share this with end user you can integrate with fury applications there's a lot you can do when it comes to building stories 
You can also fetch live data from CDS views. All of that will be part of our training more in details. Now, just to showcase that it's really truly a live data, what I will go do back is go back and I will try to introduce a, another brand. So there's no data for that brand. Let me add a new brand. Perhaps I will add a product ID, some random product ID. And I will say HTC. Yes. So I'll say HTC. And then I will just add here 6.60352525200. Average rating is 6. I will add one more record. And I will just put another product ID. Again, HTC. And again, HTC2 plus just put some values. This is live data from HANA. And I say, three, six, it's a necessary. Yes, and let's say four. And let me save this data in HANA. So I've just updated my HANA database table with a new brand called HTC. So let us go back and see this in action now into the system. So do we get new data? So I just go back on my SSE story. Since it's a live data connection, you don't have to do anything extra and you would naturally gonna get your values here. And voila, you can see you've got HTC here with total eight reviews. Yes, and if you come down to the reporting, uh, basically to your report, then you can also see here it should show you the data for the brand HTC. So let me just scroll down. Perhaps, yes, there you go. You would just see the data for your brand HTC also. So whatever new records we have added for the new product, you're going to get that data out of the box into the system. You can also apply a filter. Maybe just why am I doing this? I can just go back and add a filter on the brand. And now I would get my new brand HTC, click OK. And that's where I've got my two records, which I've just inserted in HANA right away on my table. Fantastic. So that proves it's a live data, which it is fetching live from SAP HANA. So I hope you enjoyed this demo session on SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's start with some of the frequently asked questions by many of you. Is there any prerequisite to learn this training? No, with Anubhav trainings, there is zero prerequisite. We will cover all of it from beginning, considering you as a college fresher, which includes fundamentals of SAP Business Technology Platform, SAP BW, BI, Analytics, HANA, S4 HANA introduction. What are all covered in this training? Everything you need to know about SAC certification, is covered in this training, including BI, planning, predictive, designer, digital boardroom, live connection, and basics of administration. It's a all in one course. Where do I practice? Where do I get SAP server? So SAP is offering a free trial for 90 days, which is self-sufficient for completing this training. And I'm sure wherever, whichever projects you are working, you must be having a SSE tenant where you can practice all. We will give you all the demo data, sample data, to build the dashboards and stories and try out examples and demo scenarios. Will you show the live data connection? Yes, we will see live data connection with S4 HANA, BW, BPC, and HANA in cloud. You already saw in the demo today it was on live data connection. What is the duration of this training and how to enroll? The duration is 40 hours and uh, you can just send us an email on contact at anaboutrainings.com to enroll for this training. Where can I find the detailed course content? It's there on anaboutrainings.com analytics cloud training. Will I get also the study material? Yes, you will also get all the PPTs, PDF documents, including the demo data sheets to prepare and create end-to-end real-time scenarios in your system. Is this training real-time? Yes, all the scenarios and case studies and exercises and, uh, and studies are real-time. We will get a complete hands-on real-time experience. 
what about SSE certification we will cover a dedicated unit where we will guide you about tips and tricks and including the information about certification exam for analytics cloud how can I attend this code uh, if I miss a class yes we have also the training available in video mode where you get latest and greatest up-to-date material including videos you can go through them and ask your questions over the email so this is how you can I'm sure majority of your questions are answered here on this slide so that's it for from our side thank you so much for watching this video and joining this live demo session with me Anubhav. I will see you in our next session with introduction of basic terminology on SAP with our next class on analytics cloud. Thank you for watching as usual. Have a nice day and goodbye.